gardens in the side of Allah. He buttressed on the narration of the Prophet that spending even a penny towards Islamic projects attracts the reward of a home in paradise. He called on the faithful to strictly adhere to the principles of Islam at all times and always abide by the teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Ustaz Abu Bakr Mbai also re-echoed similar statements, adding that it is our duty as Muslims to support Islam any way we could. At the end of the conference, Imam Ahmed Bushiri, Fadera of Manjai, thanked the delegates for gracing the occasion, pointing out that the knowledge learned will go a long way in helping Muslims understand their duties towards their religion. The Manjai Imam pleaded with the head of state and his government to help complete the mosque, which currently stands as the biggest mosque in the whole of Manjai. <laughs> Abu Bakr Dabo, GRTS. The School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences are the winners of the latest edition of the University of the Gambia Debating Association competition. The medicinal students held of the challenge of a team from the National and Physical Sciences. Ababukar Sengor reports Nusrat Senior Secondary School emerged winners in the Senior Secondary category after a hard-fought win over St. Joseph Senior Secondary School. The University of the Gambia Debating Club on Saturday ends its interdepartmental debating competition together with the inter-schools debate at the university campus in Brikama. The event which brought together officials of the University of the Gambia and other stakeholders from the private sector, including the U.S. Ambassador to the Gambia, so students dealt with important topics. As the university is growing from strength to strength, departmental debates are termed as one of the extracurricular activities helping students in improving their vocal skills and public speaking confidence. Speaking to the participants, the Vice Chancellor of the University of the Gambia, Professor Mamaduka, promised the students of the UTG's resolve to make basic reductions to tuition fees as a way of encouraging them to continue their studies in the Gambia. Debating is very important in the development of anyone. I think it builds your leadership skills, it builds your ability to think on your feet, and also to be rational and be a complete person. So for the students that have not competed, I would urge you to join your respective debating clubs. I urge your principals to support your schools. The UTG, he went on, will continue to render quality service to the public and that Gambians should make best use of the institution. For the president of the University of the Gambia's Debating Association, the UTGDA has made tremendous strides since its formation. Debate for the first time ever, we are taken to the various participating high schools. This is because we felt the need to promote and encourage university education and culture, bring different high schools under one umbrella, promote ownership of the championship, boost the morals of participants to inspire young people, specifically students. As the various speakers completed their time on the podium, the stage was set for the contending schools to battle it out in the debating with Newstrat Senior Secondary School at St. Joseph's, competing for the top position in the senior secondary category. Ladies and gentlemen, an example of these intelligences is the verbal or the linguistic intelligence. And these people have the ability to manipulate and understand words and languages. They are very good speakers, very good in reading and writing. Yes, learning styles are very real, they do exist. But the fact that I prefer to learn visually or verbally doesn't mean that I don't learn when I'm taught differently. After a period of intense debating, Nistrad emerged as winners of the inter-schools competition organized by the University of the Gambia Debating Association, much to the delight of their contestants. The School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences completed another hard-fought victory over the School of Natural Sciences in the university category. And to convince the religious area of each brain in this world, we would like to approach this intellectual debate by presenting to you how colonial educational legacy is a liability from its very fundamentals. To if you are not educated, you are easily controlled, manipulated, and exploited. Due to this education, our country or our continent as Africa is able to fight our colonial master. For Momodu Sabali, a Gambian writer who was a former student of the University of the Gambia, the move is a great step in the right direction. This is one of the most inspiring events I have uh, attended of late. 
and I am very much uh, grateful to the organizers and the students for doing this. This is not g only good for the students, but it's also good for the national psyche, because a uh, healthy debate is something that's uh, indispensable to national progress. This is one of many initiatives the university authorities are hoping will gain root in the university's extracurricular activities to benefit both current students and those aiming to enroll at the country's highest learning institution. The event also witnessed the presentation of awards to six students for their outstanding leadership roles in the University of the Gambia. For JRTS News, this is Pau Karsengo. Next operation clean the nation is slated for Saturday, 27th April 2013 throughout the country. A news release from the National Environment Agency states that the initiative has had very positive impacts on the health status of the general citizenry and adds that many studies have confirmed that the main reason for the significant drop in malaria cases, as much as 40% in some places, can be mainly attributed to this initiative. The initiative, dubbed Operation Clean the Nation, the dispatch adds, targets the root causes of vector-borne diseases by eliminating the breeding grounds of the insect that spread such diseases. The initiative, the dispatch argues, should therefore be supported wholeheartedly by all those residing in the Gambia because the benefits are reaped by one and all. NEA reminds governors Sefolu, Alkalulu, ward councillors and government institutions of the strong presidential directives requiring all of them to organize and fully participate in the next national cleanup exercise within their respective areas of jurisdiction throughout the country. The release ends. Time now to take our first break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. German lawmakers have been debating on imposing a ban on the far-right NPD party. One of the members of the party is reported to have conducted a spate of racially motivated murders in the past. The opposition social democrats were pushing for the move, saying that the NPD is in clear breach of German's constitution. But as we hear in this report, the government says banning is the wrong way of dealing with the right's extremism. Among German parliamentarians about the anti foreigner far right spirit of the NPD. But lawmakers are divided over how meaningful and viable a ban would be. To outlaw a party, it must be proved to be unconstitutional. The opposition Social Democrats say it's obvious. We're not talking about outlawing a few stupid thoughts. We're talking about breaking up an organization, a party, that is geared toward and contributes to attacks on people in Germany. The latest impetus to ban the NPD came after a series of killings by a right-wing extremist cell that was exposed two years ago. But a government majority opposes the ban, saying instead that the NPD must be fought politically. Can or, can or should the government be allowed to ban a party that voters already overwhelmingly disapprove of? And they repeatedly show their rejection of it every election day. 99% reject their thinking. The Greens also doubt the Constitutional Court would agree to a ban. If there were a good chance of banning the NPD, we'd all say yes at once. But there are other issues at stake. With doubt as to whether there would be sufficient evidence to get the party banned, a majority in the Bundestag is against taking the matter further. 
from that report, we now join our sports lady, Fadu Jassi, for a look at the day sports news. Thank Fatu. you, Esutumani. German's top two teams could soon be looking forward to a trip to Wembley for the final of this year's Champions League, just one day after Bayern Munich's 4 0 thrashing of Catalan giants Barcelona. Their arch rivals, Borussia Dortmund, put up a stunning performance of their own against Real Madrid. 4 1 was the final.